Brawn moments. So one custom rule here, you're not allowed to sack anything to the True Sun Guide. These are the towers, 5 towers, no selling, around 100, okay I see, so it's probably that you can't manipulate the max tower counts by sacrificing with the temple, I'm assuming. Let's go into it, so it's basically a bad with um, a little bit stronger HP. Wait, is this just a vanilla True Sun God? I feel like that's what the it's supposed to be. Like, I'll do this. I'll do this. Bad placement, I know. Very, very bad. Let's go. How good is a true sun guide? Not good. Not even close. Imagine spending 600k for this result. I think the uh, um, Subaruto has to be in the middle, for one. And for two, I'm not sure, but let's restart. Two villages. Oh, I think the two villages is for one called Arms and then one Homeland. If I want the ice in the middle, though, then if I upgrade this to uh, True Sun God, there won't be places to place it. Yeah. So I need to try the Super in a different spot. Like, would it basically still have full map coverage if I put it here? I'm thinking. And then that's good space for my Ice Tower. Actually, I don't think I can afford Called Arms and Sniper and Ice. So I might just go uh, Sniper then, instead Ice. Yeah, 10k. Rip Ice, I guess. Maybe Attack Speed's better then, I don't know. I should've bought Range earlier, but whatever. I'll use Homeland first. I didn't just get Homeland, but it, it doesn't matter in the long run. Because I can't- I, I still can't save 20k with the Homeland. Or a discount, but still. I know it should have been- I should have done it better. I don't know, how close is this? Not very, eh? I didn't buy Jungle Drums, but it still would have mattered. It, it's not close. I think the life count is basically just pop the bad and then win. So we're double discounting the towers now. Not sure if saving money does much though. 520 and... 502. Oh! Wow. Money's actually really tight. Hold on, we can save something. I'm gonna restart. I think I can afford two attack speed buffs or upgrades by doing things in the right order. So this is what I did. Double discount. Homeland. Jungle Drums. Double discount the Ice Tower. And then Sniper. Oh. What did I change? Oh, I didn't- no, no, I didn't- I didn't buy range. Okay, I gotta skip one range upgrade, that's pretty bad. Let me just see what this gets me. Probably lost. Homeland time was, was also pretty bad, because the uptime was when the battle was out of range. Another one? It got 35k. 36k. Yeah, I need range. So, ice here, 5 zero, zero. And then, uh, Sniper is affordable, right? Yes. Range? Yep, 190. Let's go again. The thing is, so far, we haven't even gone to the last layer of the bad. So this has to be a huge difference. Spam the ability. I think we're definitely getting a PB here. But still not close. Yeah, it's a PB, alright. Definitely PB. 42,000. Uh, how much HP does the Fortify Bat have? Let's do some math. 177% HP. If a normal Bat has 28k HP on round 100, Fortify Bat has 56, and then times 1.77. What? Yeah, apparently the math adds up to 99k HP, what? Totally my idea, guys. I'm gonna go for a Homeland. I'm gonna go for a 042 called Arms. I'm gonna go for a Sun Avatar instead of a, a Max Temple. This is my idea, 100%. No cap. I'm gonna go for a Super Brittle, not in the best spot, but whatever. And then... Let's go. So now, because I'm not spending on the True Sun God, I have an extra Call Arms. And let's see the damage. We are going Homeland, obviously. Oh, that damage is way faster. Well, there it is. I think. Because, yeah, the bat has 99k HP. This is... Getting close. 
Homeland. Come on, 99. Got it. And I think we can just take everything and win. Is that right? No, we have to pop it like a DT. Why is it better? Alright, here's the explanation of why. The true Sun God has one projectile. But the Sun Avatar has three. Three beams. And three is bigger than one, so that's why Avatar is always better than True Sun God. End of story. Alright, uh, the real answer is that because you get additive buffs with the Ice and the Sniper, then the more projectiles makes a difference. So it is actually three over one, but there is more to that. I'll do first, and then... Okay... I'll put it on last now. I'll let one leak. Yeah, if I pop the ZMG, then I can take four or four to five BFBs, right? Or maybe one. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. I should be able to survive this. If not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. So that is the answer. Don't buy Temple. Avatar is better. You're wasting money spending 600k on a tower that is actually worse. A uh, nice showcase. Revenge of the BFB. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. Big number. All cam grow. Big, big, big number. We can take lives. 7%. Let's see what we can do here with a lot of money. A lot of money. The BFB has 10.5k HP. 10.5k. Do we have nukes? Nope. No first strike. We have Elim. That would instantly one shot. Wait, no, it doesn't. Right, two shot, three shot, three shot. Three. And then the ceramic. Wait, I can take all of them, I think. But I can't sell fast enough. Or oh, the money's off. I don't have any more money. I have flavor trades. GG. Oh, only two towers. Alright. Let's do one then. That's still fine. So let's get rid of micro. One. Two. Oops, I'm choking. One. Oh, the money's already gone. Wow. I can't I can't do flavor trades. The money still isn't there with sellback. Alright. Oh, I have an idea. Because this guy does damage with his main attack, I can maybe only use two abilities. Like the BP is slow, so I can afford to not sell it at all. Maybe wait for this ability to come up again. And then use it? Yeah, that's good, that's good. So, and now? Oof, damn pop. Sold too early still. It does 80 damage a shot, 80. The lives are there to tank four, four mob ceramics. Ability, wait for it to shoot. One, two. Yeah, you notice that uh, my micro's too slow. If I rebind hockeys, that might be doable. Alright, let's see if there's anything that's not micro. Because that's fast. Super glue. Super glue stuns. Oh. That works. Right? Well, it doesn't slow the BFB entirely, but I get. Assassin? Is this gonna work, guys? 7k so far, it's almost dead. Just another assassin ability. That could do it, I think. As long as we get the Moabs. We got one only. Alright, better spot, better spot. Right here. I could Snowstorm once it pops, too. That's always an option. I will, I'll do that, actually. Yeah, once, I, once it's on the range. We're about to pop it, so let's get ready. Can I charge the ability before it pops? Alright, got it, but I gotta be fast. Slow down. Press 1 once it pops. Got it. Alright. Now what? Nothing? I think we just wait. Or I could do this. Speed of the process? Sure. So that's the answer to the 7% challenge, I think. I don't see anything else that would work. It's not micro. Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. N never mind, never mind. You have to beat some ceramics. Like, let's look at the HP. One Ceram is 104. 104 times 16. Alright, we need to pop... We need to get one Camo Ceram. What's the HP of the Ceramic? Max. Alright, 200... 
Well, I, I can decamo and then get Jungle the Druid. Do I have DK? No, okay. The towers are specifically banned to decam, so I can't I can't one-shot with Druid. There's a downdraft. 500 Village, I think, can two-shot um balloons. If I get downdraft and village, sell super glue after. I probably don't need Assassin, by the way, but whatever. I'm actually gonna try to skip uh what do you call it? Snowstorm? Because now. This spot can attack a little bit later. So, I'm gonna see if that works. Good, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So, I'm gonna use one Assassin, Cell. I'm gonna get a Downdraft ready. Back here. This sells for 29.6. Okay, the money's there for 5 0 Village. That's his camo. Now, let me just see what I want to do here. I don't want too many Cerams, but just a few. Would I lock in place? I would, I would. No, no, no. Yes, lock in place. I want, I want it to be consistent. Just a few Cerams, that's all. I actually only need one, by the way. Just one. So, good. Chillin', just chillin'. And this should kill eventually. Assuming no Rigo farm? Oh, no. The worst possible thing happened. A Rigo farm. I think it's because this thing does exactly 100 damage or 200. That's why it caused a farm. Well, that sucked. I have an idea then to fix that. Same towers. So I really only want downdraft again one balloon. Maybe I'll let the downdraft do damage to ceramic so the HP isn't exactly, you know, 200. Just enough so that. The village one shots. So, alrighty, fast forwarded. That's three serums, yes. Okay, so I'll wait. This time, just wait. Like, if they're down to like 180 HP, then it works. So, I'll wait 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How's that? Two left. It's missing, guys. My ricochet is missing. There we go. See? I told you, that's all we needed. Math. You need to math up the Ceram HP so it doesn't regrow. Uh, overall, good challenge though. I liked uh, what I need to think to get the solution to this one.